So here we have the fuel pressure regulator that's shipped with the uh, throttle body injection kit. You've got a bunch of adapters here that are used for uh, various fittings to get down to the proper line size. As you can see, you have uh, the regulator, you have a mounting bracket for mounting it to the car, and then around the lower half in the red body section, you have got one, two, three, four, five threaded ports. This bottom port can only be used for the fuel return line to the gas tank. That is the only thing this bottom port can be used for. These other four ports can be used for, uh, you have two lines going to your carburetors, one to each injector. You have the line from your gas tank to the regulator. And then the last thing is you're going to have a, a a fuel pressure gauge that will attach here. So again, this bottom one can only be used for the return line to the gas tank. These four can be used for the fuel pressure gauge, the fuel lines to each injector, and the line from your gas tank. One other um, fitting here, this is the overflow fitting. If or the regulator should fail, fuel would flow out of this to the ground. On the top is a uh, hex nut and a um, locking nut, and this is how you adjust the pressure. Okay, this is a car that's been running throttle body injection for a few years now, and uh, we're just going to go through where some of the components have been positioned. This is obviously the fuel pressure regulator. This is the gauge on top of it. This is an older regulator. It's different from the one that's being provided now, though it does the same function. This is the return line to the gas tank. This line coming out the top here is the overflow line. Uh, here we have the two lines that go to the injectors, one to that and carb, and that's the other one. Uh, the one thing with these fuel lines to the injectors is you want to keep them less than three feet in length. You don't want them any longer. The uh, knob for adjusting the fuel pressure is actually right under the overflow uh, hose. Okay, This unit is mounted up high on the passenger side. Uh, there have been some that have been mounted kind of low and on the engine block. I don't know if that's a great idea because of the uh, the heat that's generated down there. But you want to position it someplace where you have easy access to the gauge and easy access to the nut that uh, you use for adjusting the pressure. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is the MAP sensor. We've already discussed the fuel pressure regulator over here. Well, this is the MAP sensor right here. It's mounted, uh, in this case, high and on the, on the uh, passenger side. This is the plug from the ECM, from the electronic control module. And down below is the vacuum hose. And the MAP sensor requires a good source of vacuum to operate properly. So in the uh, Triumph TR6 that this is installed in, the best source is this connection right here on top of the manifold. And this is the MAP sensor hose coming in here. Uh, similar to the fuel pressure regulator, you want to keep that MAP sensor hose as short as possible. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk a little bit about is the uh, coolant sensor. This is the sensor that monitors how uh, hot and cold the coolant is that flows through the system. In this case, we've elected to mount it in the hose where it comes right off of the thermostat housing. And um, this little connector we put in and the sensor itself screws into the bottom of the connector. Some folks will actually go into the housing itself and tap it and screw a bung in directly there. Uh, but we just found that mounting it here in the hose made for a fairly simple installation. Uh, this, this one's kind of up to where you want to put it.
All right, here we have the ignition module. As you can see, it's, it's mounted on the engine block. It's right down here. It's mounted on the engine block above the um, oil filter. And actually, in this case, it's mounted right where the old mechanical fuel pump uh, was located. What you have here in the ignition module is there are uh, two connections on this side, and these connectors, these come off of the distributor. There are two plugs here, one here and one down below. It's a little tough to see. These plugs come off of the electronic control module. So this, this plug is used for when you set the timing. And what you do is you actually disconnect the plug, set the timing, lock your timing down, and then you'll reconnect the plug. If you leave the plug disconnected, you're going to get a check engine light. So uh, this is the ignition module, and it is... Uh, probably the last key component that you'll be installing under the hood of the car.